Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Wednesday, October the 3rd, 2018. Gamblersadvisory.com, free site, bettingangle.us, free site. Today, it's a short video. I just wanted to respond to some of the comments I've heard. Now, understand, the drug that Billy Joe Saunders tested positive for is just banned outright in several sports, right? This is a drug that's supposed to help you burn fat. That's supposed to help you lose weight and gain stamina, right? It's much more powerful than clenbuterol. Now, let's just be polite here. Some of you have made the distinction. You said under WADA, W-A-D-A, -A, rules, right? You can use this drug <clears throat> outside of competition, right? If this drug's found in your system on the night of a competition, folks, it's over for you. You fail. And the drug only has a 24-hour clearance time. But if you're out of competition, then it's okay, right? You can use the drug. Now, let's be clear here. In my opinion, those rules are ridiculous. More importantly, the parties agreed to VADA, V-A-D-A, -A, know your drug testing agencies. They agreed to VADA, not WADA, right? In other words, this fight is actually governed by a different set of protocols. Under VADA rules, this drug, which led to a greater than one year suspension for Jamaican sprinter Astafa Powell, who used to be the world's fastest man, right? This drug isn't allowed. Billy Joe Saunders agreed to this. The drug's not supposed to be allowed. But yet he's taking the drug. He failed a drug test. We know that. Now, some of you have argued, hey, since this is allowed out of competition by WADA, the drug couldn't be that powerful. You're way off, right? You're way off. Understand, other sports have banned this drug outright. I don't know why with boxing there's this out of competition, in competition distinction for that testing agency, which isn't the governing testing agency in this case, right? This is a powerful drug. I don't care how WADA treats it. You know the drug is powerful by the fact that if it's found in your system on the day of the sporting event, you fail. Your wins nullify. Right? So I don't believe that's a defense here. More importantly, I think the fact that Billy Joe knew that this drug's permitted out of competition and the fact that he chose to use this drug that has a short clearance time, right? 24 hours, it's in and out of your body. Shows you the degree to which he's trying to use shortcuts to make weight in a sport with weight classes. Right? Billy Joe can't show up for a title fight at 160, weighing 170. Also, think about it. His team, they're educated men. They knew this drug is just banned for this fight, right? Because they're under VADA rules. But yet, Billy Joe is so desperate, in my eyes, to lose weight for this fight, that he turned to this drug. How desperate is Billy Joe to lose weight? You have James DeGale, who just fought at a catch weight above super middleweight. Right? DeGale's within an eyelash of light heavyweight these days. Talking about how he's been talking to Billy Joe Saunders <clears throat> about a fight. In other words, Billy Joe wants to fight James DeGale, we're guessing here, eight pounds higher minimum
168, eight pounds higher than the weight limit for his fight against Demetrius Andre. Right? Think it through, folks. I personally don't even think that Billy Joe wants this Andre fight to happen. Number one, because I think Andre beats him. Right? Number two, because Billy Joe might not be able to make weight. So what's happening right now is they pick the venue here. It's Boston. Right? And of course, in Boston, the Massachusetts State Athletic Commission follows the WADA rules, not the VADA rules that these fighters individually agreed upon. Right? So in Massachusetts, this failed drug test is a non event. As long as you show up the day of the fight and don't test positive for the drug. So, I'm guessing Billy Joe's people knew these are the Massachusetts State Athletic Commission rules. They knew in the press there would be some people saying this drug which has led to suspensions of athletes in other sports, which is banned in other sports. Right? This drug isn't a big deal because it's just a day of the event. I have to test negative for drug. Right? For you, the gambler, the bottom line is Billy Joe, who, when you see him, couldn't possibly weigh 160. Right? This is a guy with, will be charitable here, a lot of baby fat on him. By the way, dude's in his late 20s. I believe he's 29 years old. Right? He's a chubby guy. He walks around, in my opinion, just my two eyes, he walks around probably in the high 170s, low 180s. Right? And so, he's going to have problems making weight here. I'll be surprised if this Demetrius Andre fight goes forward. This might all be a cover for Billy Joe to say, look, I was all prepared to fight Andre. I didn't duck him. The authorities prevented me from fighting him. Right? This could all be a cover to allow Billy Joe to give up a belt for which he can no longer make weight so that he can go and fight James DeGale and make Big Bunny in a domestic UK dust-up at a higher weight that he can make. Let me also say this too. <clears throat> I pointed out that Billy Joe ran out of gas against Chris Eubank. Right? This is a fight from years ago. And many of you came to his defense and said, look, to suggest that he's, you know, started juicing after that fight. And that the reason why he didn't get tired against David Lemieux was because he was juicing ignores the fact that he moved on to a new trainer who's using better training techniques with him. Right, folks? Where's this coming from? Dude's already failed a test. Understand, when I'm pointing out that he has stamina problems in a fight against Chris Eubank, I personally post-failed drug tests am not ruling out the idea that he was juicing before that fight. Right, folks, we're post failed drug test. As for his new trainer, there's always a cover story, isn't there? Right? People always have the cover story prepared so they can take out the supplement that's tainted and say, oh, I just use this over-the-counter supplement. Right? There's always a cover story. What we know is the guy failed a drug test for a drug that's banned in other sports that's led to lengthy suspensions in other sports of world-class athletes. Boxing, wake up. I like Andre over Saunders, but I question whether that fight even happens. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.